Anthony, passionate about protecting the environment, has thousands of followers on social media. This fifth generation rancher in Nebraska's panhandle is part of the changing face in the beef industry. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki recently traveled to Lakeside and the Flying Diamond Ranch to meet Jacqueline Wilson. Don't call her a cowgirl. The image of riding the range is changing thanks to ranchers like Jacqueline Wilson. Let's go ladies, come on. She's not afraid to get dirty and she definitely shows that you don't have to look like the rugged cowboy that you see in the movies to make it in the ranching. The 43 year old fifth generation rancher runs the Flying Diamond Ranch with her father Blaine. I think she's about five years old, four years old, and she was back there riding a horse. Now the women here outnumber the men. And I think there's a lot of strengths of having a female heavy workforce. You know, one of them is the attention to detail. Come on, babies. And I think that females also have, might, they also are a little more sympathetic to animal concerns and animal welfare. She admits it wasn't easy at first. Especially a single female. I feel like I've proved myself along the way enough where I'm and either that or I just don't care anymore what other people think. But with a supportive father, she's brought her own brand of outside of the box ideas to the ranch. Like tracking the life of every cattle and a direct to consumer beef business. Instead of thinking, hey, we're going to sell this to a processing plant, we're thinking, okay, we're going to sell this to a consumer, so we've got to even be more conscientious of everything we're doing. That led to introducing their new EnviroSmart beef label. Tiny tissue samples from each cattle are analyzed to figure out the ideal days each animal needs to be on additional feed for slaughter. What we found out is their projected finish was about 100 pounds lighter than what we were finishing at currently. That's about 30 days less feed while still putting out a great steak at the same cost. Less days on feed, less impact on the environment. Earlier this year, Wilson and her father won the National Beef Quality Assurance Award. It's a lot better to, to work smarter, maybe not harder. Wilson also uses social media to market and share their story about ranching in the sand hills, their conservation efforts, and planting thousands of trees. Because if we don't share that story, who will? You know, and people need to understand where their food comes from. A recent tweet about our dog Gemma went viral. She's even been recognized by strangers. Go to an airport or something and somebody walks up and knows her from, you know, her articles or seen her somewhere. Yeah, it's kind of unique. Bailey Jones from North Carolina State heard Wilson during a conference. She applied as an intern and has spent her last two summers on the ranch. She is a huge role model just for me, but also I know for a lot of other um, young people up and coming in the cattle industry. I'm amazed by the amount of young women that I are sitting in those rooms now that were never there when I started. I remember usually being the only one, the only female in the room. That's changing, thanks in part to a new breed of rancher. Near Alliance, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.